What is going on everyone? My name is Ricky and welcome to my YouTube channel Rick's Tricks. If you're new to this channel guys be sure to smash that subscribe button as you're not going to want to miss out on any of the content that I upload. But in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you how to get better performance on the game Fortnite. Now a lot of people this season have been struggling with performance um, and also really really bad ping so I'm hoping that this can help but most of the problem is on Epic side of things guys their servers are really really broken at the moment um, so if it still doesn't work for you then unfortunately you're just going to have to blame Epic but I'm going to show you loads of things in this video that you can do. Before we get into it though guys it would be absolutely insane if you could go ahead and use my supporter creator code. Everyone that uses my supporter creator code and then goes ahead and joins my discord as you can see right here guys we have general and we have create a code proof as you can see people have already showed proof and stuff um of using my creator code rich tricks um so everyone that is actually posted a picture in this section here creator code proof will be entered into the giveaway guys that i do once a month so if you use the code it's worth it because you can have a chance of winning some free v bucks guys but other than that let's get straight on with today's video so today's video we're going to start off by not launching up Fortnite whatsoever and we're going to go down to this little search bar right here guys and you're going to type in power and then once you've typed in power it should come up here saying choose a power plan if it doesn't then just type in the full thing choose a power plan guys and then you can go ahead and then click on this guys now for you you won't have the ultimate performance one probably unless you secretly unlocked it which i'm not going to show in this video i've already showed in a previous video i'll leave that link down below in the description but you will only want to click this ultimate performance if you have a quite a good pc already as you can see here provides ultimate performance on higher end pcs guys so for all the rest of us that are on low end pcs just put ours to high performance i've had them a lot. I've actually picked ultimate performance on mine and it really doesn't make a difference. It must only help if you have a good PC. Um, so just go ahead and click high performance guys. Yours will most probably be unbalanced. Once you've done that you can instantly exit straight out of there and uh, we're going to go straight on to the next thing. So the next thing that you're going to want to do, um, you're going to want to open up your GeForce experience guys. Um, Open it up and make sure all your graphics card settings um, are up to date and stuff and you have all the latest drivers. Um, so I have all the latest drivers right here. Um, the 15th of April, which was obviously about a week and a half ago maybe. Um, so I have all the latest graphic drivers um, on my PC. So that's going to help me in the long run playing any game, not just Fortnite, but any game. So make sure you are up to date on your graphics drivers, guys. That is really, really important. The next thing that you're going to want is time up resolution which is this thing right here guys now i'll leave a link down below in the description to the download page so you guys can go ahead and download time up resolution but all you do guys is once you have it downloaded you just open it up and it's very very simple um you will just hit maximum and once you've hit maximum your current resolution will go down a bit uh, mine always goes to 0 0.499 yours could be different um but yeah so once you've done that make sure you minimize it do not click off of it guys just minimize it guys okay and then once you've done that we're going to want to also download something called quick cpu guys now i have not put this in any of my videos because i actually forgot that i had it uh, like that i actually had this running um i haven't used it in such a long time because once you apply it once it just saves the settings and you never have to do it again so i actually forgot that i was using this but as you can see right here guys i'm only supposed to be getting 3.10 gigahertz but as you can see up here i'm actually getting more than that on a regular basis now the reason being why is because you have these things here set to the maximum so put all these to 100 guys um, and then go ahead and click apply and then once you see changes um, have been applied then basically what you've done there is you've slightly overclocked um, your CPU guys so it's going to help you get a lot better performance um, on other games so once you've done that you can actually fit you can just fully click out of that guys you don't need that on anymore um, and you'll never need to redo that again so that's a really really good program I'll leave the link down below to download that in the description guys so go ahead and download that that's gonna help you out a ton guys the next thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead um, and click your little Windows button and R at the exact same time so this little box here pops up or you can go ahead and just type in run yourself um, and then the app will be here and then you can click it that way it's entirely up to you and then once you're here guys you want to go ahead um, and go to percent app data percent guys and then go ahead and click OK once you've done that up here it will say app data go ahead and click on app data and then you're going to want to click local 
and then you're going to want to find Fortnite game which is right here for me and then once you've done that guys just click saved and then you're going to want to click config and then you're going to want to click windows client now before going into game user settings be sure to right click on it first hit properties and make sure you untick this read only box you might not have it on but just in case you do make sure it's unticked and then click apply and then ok once you've done that you can then open up the game user settings so i'm going to put this on a big a like you know full screen or whatever so you guys can see the settings properly um, but we're going to have some um there's a couple of settings in here that are really 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 important guys um, and let's scroll down the first one is going to be your fps cap so your fps cap is really really important guys let me just hold up a second find it here it is right here um, so your fps is really really important on what you're going to cap it to now in one of my other videos that done quite well showing how to get better performance someone said if you have a 60 hertz monitor why aren't you capping yours to 60 fps the reason being why guys is i know that that's supposed to be what you're supposed to do but if you actually try this out yourself and if even if you're on a 60 hertz monitor and you can say get up to 200 fps if you go ahead and cap your fps to 60 and try edit and build as fast as you would on a higher fps it is impossible to do guys it is just absolutely impossible so if you're higher than 60 fps even by 10 then you can edit a lot faster uh, and build a lot faster a lot smoother guys so that's why i never have mine like actually capped to 60 i'm lucky enough to not have it to not need it capped to 60 so i have mine capped to 70 guys which is only 10 fps more now th this is how you guys are going to work out the number that you need to cap your fps to now all you need to do is play a game on Fortnite, just go into a public game or an arena, whatever you want to do. I would suggest to go into an arena because you have more stacked people towards the end. Now just hide all game guys so you try and get into a stat lobby and then you're going to want to pay close attention to your FPS at the top right. Make sure you are showing your FPS on the game, I'll show how to do that in a second. But you're going to want to keep a close eye on your FPS guys and have a look at what number it rarely goes below. Obviously sometimes it might you know like it might go down to like 20 or something i don't mean that i mean the number that it consistently rarely drops below so for instance mine is 70 which is why i've put mine to 70. um i used to be able to play on 100 um before this season but this season broke the game guys so um but yeah that's the next thing and that's going to help out a ton guys i also want to say i'm doing this commentary live as i'm you know can through it so i've never done a commentary live i usually rec you know like a pre-record the footage and then speak over it so i don't you know mess up and stutter so i do apologize if i stutter a few times in this um you know video so but yeah the next thing you're going to want to do is your custom resolution guys so as you can see i play on a custom resolution i play on 1800 um by 1080 guys so the reason why i play on a slightly lower resolution is because it's going to help a lot with your fps guys if you're not playing on full hd then obviously you don't need to work like obviously you know your graphics card and things like that doesn't need to work as hard you know to get a good performance basically you know so i'd go ahead um you can play around with this it's up to you when you do change your resolution you must change all of them so as you can see here i've got my resolutions here uh here and also here and the last one is here so you need to change um all six of those guys um for it to actually work properly and be on that custom resolution um, and then once you've done that guys you then want to click file and then go ahead and just save i don't need to save because i've already done it um, but just like a click save a few times don't click save as just save uh, and then you can click off this guys and then you can go ahead and right click game user settings you must do this uh, click properties and then click read only and then apply and ok and then that's going to make sure that all them settings that you've just changed aren't going to be able to just randomly be changed by the game itself so you're always going to be on them settings guys so the next thing you need to do though for the custom resolution is you need to go to nvidia control panel guys and also there's a few settings in here that we need to change to get a better performance but we're going to start off with the resolution because we literally just obviously customized our resolution so whatever resolution you're on guys it's up to you um, you need to make yourself um, a custom one so if you go ahead and click customize um, if you see here now um, enable resolutions blah, blah blah so now I, I will go okay but for you guys because you haven't already made them you'll need to click here create custom resolution and then you would change these two numbers here to whatever you'd want it to be and then click test and then okay and then you'll have a custom resolution saved in there um, but I already have some here so I don't need to and then boom 
and then every time you open the game now you'll be able to no problem um sorry it won't be a problem you'll just instantly be on that custom resolution that you save the game to but once you've done that guys you're going to want to click to this top one here adjust image settings with preview and you're going to want to make sure it is on use the advanced 3d image settings and then once you've done that make sure you click apply and then click manage 3d settings after make sure you're on global as well and uh, all you're going to want to do is copy the settings that i have down here guys um, I'm going to give you a few seconds, I'm just going to scroll down um, so you guys can have a good look at them and stuff like that. But the main ones are going to be a little bit further down here, um, I will show, don't worry. So low latency mode guys is really, really, really important. You must put this on ultra guys, uh, there's going to be a couple of settings, you can have it on or off or on ultra. Make sure you put it to ultra, that's going to help you absolutely load guys on any game not just fortnite so make sure you do that uh, and this open rendering gpu make sure yours has been selected um, your power management mode make sure that is on prefer maximum performance guys um, and then go down to this last one here uh, it says texture filtering quality go ahead and put that onto higher performance as well guys um, that's really really important that you do that as well um, it's going to help you in the long run and uh, you you guys may not have ever you know done any of these settings to your graphics card because every time you do like a driver update a lot of the time people click clean install which resets all these settings so you might not have had them um for a long while if you've done them in the past um without realizing it so but yeah so once you've done that you can then obviously go ahead and click apply there um, and then that's going to be it for the nvidia part there um, and that is basically it guys all we need to do now is go ahead and open up epic games <coughs> If you want to launch Epic Games, guys, it's obviously that simple. Um, I am going to be on a custom resolution, so if the screen looks slightly like different, stretched, um, because obviously I'm recording in 1920 by 1080, but uh, I'm about to open a game and it's going to change the resolution, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, so once the full, uh, obviously the game's running, don't forget, guys, you've obviously had all these things already. You've got your timer resolution still open. Uh, you've downloaded your quick CPU, you've updated your graphics card drivers, you've put your power onto um, Mac, like high performance. You know, you've done all these extra little things to get a better performance in the game. So this should really, really help. Um, I would say about this, but I don't really think this helps. Um, so I'm not even going to get into what this is or, you know, like, or what it does. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, so once you're loaded into a game, whatever game you'd obviously like to go in, make sure you go over to your settings um, on here and make sure you put these all to low, um, off, 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 blah, blah, blah etc. Turn them all the way down um, so you can obviously get the max performance um, in your game. But as you can see, I'm on 70 FPS and it's not really, can I change this? Oh yeah, is that? Yeah, that'll do. So I haven't actually played Fortnite, guys. Uh, probably in about two weeks now. I've been playing Valorant. Um, my sensitivity feels all weird on this game. Everything it feels disgusting. But um, I just thought I'd make this video because I've already got a video showing you a few steps that you can do to obviously get a better performance. But I didn't really go as in depth as I have in this one. Uh, so I thought I'd help you guys out in showing you what I was doing. So as you can see though, uh, I'm rarely going to be dropping below 70 FPS. And I just want to put out there as well guys, don't forget that um, I'm recording obviously at the exact same time, you know, while doing this. So my PC is using more power to record it as well. And we're still not dropping frames whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I feel like I can't build or I can't build, sorry. But yeah, that's it guys. That's how to get a nice smooth performance for you on Fortnite. Um, I really do hope is everyone has enjoyed. I'm sorry if I started and the commentary wasn't as good as what it usually is. Um, I did do it live, so I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, be sure to use my support credit code. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Oosh.